St. Francis of Assisi presents Saints and Thieves. Thank you for waking me up this morning, Brother Wolf. Good morning, Brother Francis. Welcome, Brother Gaudioso. What are you cooking? It certainly smells good. Wild mushroom and herb soup. Would you like some? That's very kind of you. I haven't eaten since yesterday, and I'm really quite hungry. Would you care to stay with me and join in prayers, Brother Gaudioso? No, I'll be long gone before tomorrow. You'll be heading off to Assisi, and I'm heading off towards Perugia. Why in the world are you going to Perugia? What's happening? The Pope is coming to Perugia. Is that really true? That's why I'm traveling with this donkey, to get to Perugia quickly so I can hear the Pope speak. This is exciting news, almost enough to make me return to the world of men. But I find I am much closer to God in these woods. Oh, what's that you have bundled up in the donkey's saddlebags? Ah, uh, it's just a rabbit. I caught him earlier with a little trap I had set up. He's oh. all right. He's not hurt. I see you've bound him nice and tightly. And now that you've caught him, what do you plan to do with him? I wanted to take it to Brother Ginepro to make a stew for your friars. That would be cruel to the rabbit and the friars. Besides, this is a child of God. Its proper place is here in the forest, as the good Lord intended. Here is the plea from Sister Clara of Assisi. Theirs is a sacred wish that I am happy to grant. Here is my blessing. Take it to them, and I will pray for you, Brother Francis. I hereby declare you to be my emissary. May the Lord have mercy upon your soul. Here. Be careful! Wow, will you look at that? Turn him me. into a she! Traveling with the papal emissary, Brother Francis of Assisi? Yes, it is, Brother Francis. He carries the Pope's blessings. Pray for us, Brother Francis. Francis. Pray for us, Francis. Francis. Help us! How old is the Mother Superior? Twenty-one. That's too young. The dignity of Mother Superior is too high to entrust to a woman so young. Not true. It is not age which grants a mature spirit. Clara is full of grace and humility. She wanted to reject the title of Superior until she was older, but it was bestowed to her for her holy obedience. It is the word of the Church. I am just a messenger of the Pope. I should not judge.
Pope Innocent III, in response to your appeal and that of your sisters, approves your intention to live in total poverty, grants to them the freedom to accept the obligation of poverty, and approves your desire not to be forced by anyone to receive anything. <laughs> we are eternally grateful to His Holiness. I'm coming. Hello, Brother Francis. We finally made it. I'm happy to be here with you, too. Yes, our parents wouldn't give us their permission, so we had to run away from home. Hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Nobody ever would have believed that two girls as young as you could have such courage. You both have such great strength. Brother. What are two girls doing in the convent here at this hour? It's simple. They are following the will of the Lord. These girls have been called, and they will stay here and become like brothers. Who are we to oppose the will of the Lord? Thank you. That's what we want. We want to follow Jesus, just like your friars. These sisters have done all that God has ordained. They have obeyed, they have left everything they had, and come to join our path. Now it is our path to help them. Are you ready to join your husband, sisters? And now let us pray together, sisters. Let us pray to all the saints in heaven to come and help our sisters who have asked to be admitted among the holy. Now say the words. Holy, holy Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us. us. Holy, holy Virgin, Virgin of Virgins, pray, pray for us. Pope Innocent III, in response to your appeal and that of your sisters, approves your intention to live in total poverty, grants to them the freedom to accept the obligation of poverty, and approves your desire not to be forced by anyone to receive anything. <laughs> we are eternally grateful to His Holiness. Therefore, today we celebrate. The Pope has given to Clara and her sisters permission to embrace Lady Poverty. They shall be as poor as me, as my brothers, as Lord Jesus, the Son of God, who had no place to rest his head. Lord God, who feeds the birds of the air and sows the flowers of the field, will be the only provider to our sisters. Because one does not need wealth, but love, the love of God. And the world, my brothers, in truth, is filled with that love. There's an inn up ahead. Here's your ale. Enjoy. Hey, innkeeper. Do you know a Francis who's a hermit son of a cloth merchant? Sure, you speak of Francis of Assisi, but didn't you know he was a saint? And why exactly do you think he's a saint? Have you ever witnessed him performing a miracle? Have you? I know that if you hear his words and follow them, you will find true paradise. And if you don't see the miracle in that, then you are not looking at the world the right way and following a road to do.
I can only tell you what it says in the gospel. When therefore you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the governments and in the streets, that they may be honored by men. Truly I say to you that they have their reward in full. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Just like your Father who is in heaven knows everything you do in secret and gives you merit, but it does not matter if you have nothing to give to charity. Donate to God and the poor with your heart. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Repent to the Lord, brothers. Repent of your sins. Repent to Him and cry, and I bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Return home and pray, my children. Say unto the Lord, Thy will be done, and have faith in Him. We will always do God's will. Can't these nags ride any faster? I want to see this saint for myself by sundown. I'm most curious to find out if that brother Francis really deserves our charity. But everyone we've met insists Francis is a saint. Yes, but I would need to witness a miracle and nobody claims to have seen him do that. It might be impossible for you to see one. Maybe if I offer Francis enough money, he'll perform a miracle for me. So the question is simple. If I give you money, what can you do for me? Huh. Many years ago, you did not give to charity, illustrious Duke. But now you wish to give me some money? I believe your money would be of better use to others than it would be to me. For example, maybe it should be returned to your brother, who you stole it from to begin with. Or it should be given to your mother, who you have locked up in a small cell in your own home. Nobody has ever been allowed to talk to me with such impertinence. You are an arrogant man. Watch yourself, brother. One day you will live to regret your sins. You must repent of your sins before they devour your entire soul and send you to eternal damnation. Leave my supposed sins to me, Friar. I didn't get where I am by groveling. May God have mercy on your soul, brother. You mean you really don't want my money? I'd prefer that you lament of your sins before it's too late. Now go in peace. I think that friar is crazy. No one has ever been allowed to talk to me like that. Yes, sir. My son. I feel like getting up now. I'm really tired of just laying here. But you need your rest, son. Huh? Huh? But I really want to stretch my legs. No. Wait. I'm so happy. My legs feel great. <laughs> Let's see if we can find Brother Francis so we can tell him how the Lord has healed me. <laughs> Stay right where you are. <gasps> Get out of that bed, and against the wall. What do you want from us? We have nothing. Nothing? We'll see about that. Take what you want, just don't hurt us. Then tell me now where you're hiding your money. Uh, we have no money, we're poor. You mean you will be poor after we've taken all your money. Where is it? Uh, no, I'm telling you we have nothing, nothing at all. Uh, I can do this all day. Uh, 
Maybe if he wants to keep his wife alive, he'll learn how to loosen his tongue. Bring him here. No! Let her go. I'll tell you anything. I'll give you anything we have. Get up and show me the money. What are you waiting for? Show us what's inside. It's a small uh -huh. fortune. And now, my friend, here's your reward. <laughs> we'll have even more money after we sell their livestock at market. I thought they'd have more cattle. Too bad. I did too. I'm sure we'll run across some more of them before the night is over. This is what I call a wealthy farm. They have beautiful livestock, but we need to watch out for the dogs. The dogs need to watch out for my club, you mean. Oh. And who are they? Where? I don't see anyone. Relax. It's just a bunch of friars. They fall down when you breathe on them too hard, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> Why are we just hanging here? You got a point there. Let's get this over with. Oh, quick! Let's surround the old man! Get out there! Get out Francis! Brother Francis! What is it? What's wrong, brothers? There are some bandits that have been hiding in the forest. They burnt down a house and now the farmers are chasing them. The bandits have been stealing everyone's livestock, and now the people wish to kill them. And have you done anything to save the souls of these bandits? Or did you abandon them in their time of need? I'm so sorry, but we were the ones in danger with the farmers and their beasts, not the bandits, Brother Francis. In the Gospel, it says, I command you like sheep in the midst of wolves. Just, Just like, like sheep, sheep in, in the, the midst, midst of wolves? Francis told us the bandits are probably here. He also said to praise the Lord no matter what happens to us. Yes, we have to praise the Lord no matter what happens. I just said oh. that, Brother oh, Sebastian. Yeah. <laughs> you expect that trick to work on dumb animals. Let's see what these animals have got. Heavy. I just can't wait to see what's gonna fall out of it. It's just a bunch of food and other junk. It's our gift from our brother Francis. He told us to bring you some food as a gift. Yes, but what does he want in exchange? 
He only thinks it would be better if you tried to save your souls instead of going out there and robbing people and burning their houses to the ground. Hear yeah, that? Brother <laughs> Francis wants to save all our souls. I think a better idea is to sell you friars to the Muslims. You'll become slaves, and if you want to eat, you'll have to become Muslims yourselves. Sounds like fun, right? Brother Francis also requests that you meet with him here in the forest. He wants to speak with you. Very good. That means that after we kidnap him, we can sell four slaves instead of just three. Peace. Grab him and put him in chains along with the others. Okay, boss. What are these wolves doing? What's going on here? What do you want from us? Don't worry. It's just Brother Wolf's way of greeting you, friends. I don't like the looks of this. Okay, now we'll bring you to our church. Come. Brother Francis, don't you think those are the same bandits that have been attacking our novices? Yes, but now everything is all in order. These gentlemen only wish to have something to eat and a place to sleep tonight. Yet but I thought you said they were... Go on. What kind of bandits are these? They don't have swords or even sticks. I believe I've managed to convince them to change their sinful ways. But how did you- Don't give it a second thought, Brother Elias. We'll keep a close eye on them. Relax. Now it's time to thank the Lord. Come along, brothers. Let's get going. Huh? Uh... Listen to me, Elias. I'm listening, Brother Francis. What counts is that they are children of the Lord. 